Hi, this is Peter Stanley here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to show you real quick. Um, you saw the video I did the other day with the um, five gallon wick system. Um, this is a, I want to show a version of that. That's a, it's a self warning container, but it works on the same principle. And uh, this is what I used last year on a Maruga Scorpion. And I thought it'd be a good idea to grow. I've got another white devil's tail plant. And I want to try growing it in this system and compare against the other wig system I made. And there's some significant differences in how they're set up, but they basically work the same way. So for this kind of system, you need two buckets. Um, and these work just like the uh, earth boxes you may have seen. Um, that's really cheap. And so you take a uh, quarter inch drill, drill a bunch of holes in the bottom. This is a, basically your aeration screen. And cut a hole for a three quarter inch fill pipe. And this is a three inch hole, <coughs> excuse me, that I cut with a three inch hole saw. And the only other thing you need is a three inch net pot. And this will, fits perfectly in there. See how it hangs down. And basically when it's assembled, you pack your uh, potting mix down in here and you pack it into the wick cup and the potting mix kind of kind of becomes the wick. So, uh, and then you have a external bucket with an overflow hole. See that? And that's made so that there's a gap between the top of the nutrient level and the bottom of the container. So you need that air gap to provide a, um, so the uh, potting mix can get some aeration and oxygen to the roots. If it, the water nutrient level came up to here, it would pretty much drown the plant. So, um, so then when it's assembled, don't really need a lid, but I use it. Just kind of helps keep stuff out. Just fill pipe. Kind of see how that looks. And you just put your set your plant up. Plant it like you would. Anything else, potting mix. It doesn't have to be fertilized potting mix because you're going to use hydroponic nutrients. Alternately, you could use like a slow release fertilizer and just put water in the reservoir. But I like to just use the hydroponic nutrients. And I'll be using the master blend, the same that I'm using on the other wick system. So um, the uh, plant is. This other white devil's tail. And it's actually in a small wick system now. I'm not really sure the best way to get all this out of there, but um, so that's going to go into here. So it'll be like that. Um, so go ahead and um, put this together, and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so you can see um, it's going to pack potting mix down into here and kind of water it in make sure it's moist pack it in really well and just kind of build it up and then plant the plant in the uh, top part and then I'm going to water it all in and clean this out put this back in and um, I'll have my fill pipe in there of course before I fill it so then it should be ready um, I'm going to post a link to King Star's build video on this kind of system he has a good video on it and if there's enough interest in it, I'll, I'll do a video on, on making this. But um, also, I'm out of. I don't have enough of one kind of potty mix already open to fill this whole thing. So I'm kind of mix and match. I'll probably use some cocoa core and cocoa chips near the top, and then all the potty mix I have, I'll just pack in around the bottom, kind of build that up. But uh, I'll go ahead and get that set up, and I'll be right back. All right, I got it all set up. I actually did have enough potty mix, and I did just kind of top off. With some um, cocoa chips. It's, uh, the um, it was in a plastic wick cup, 
one of those plastic bottles and I couldn't get the uh, the roots out so they're all growing out of the bottom so I just left that in there. The thing that it's in has a bunch of holes in it too and there's actually the wick is still in there so um, let's see how that does. Once the roots start growing down it shouldn't matter. Um, so anyway the other one's got a little bit of a head start it's a little bit taller. Um, this one is actually kind of recessed so it's a little it's a little taller than what it looks like here but um, anyway, I'm just going to grow them side by side. They're about the same age uh, from the same seed stock, uh, both White Devil's Tail from um, Jesus Rosaria. And uh, once they get a little bit bigger, I'll probably move them outside on the porch once it looks like it's going to stay kind of warm. And uh, anyway, we'll see how it does. And uh, hope you like that. Please subscribe and follow along and my post updates. And uh, thank you for watching. Okay, um, I didn't get a chance to upload this right away, so I want to go ahead and post a, a little um, update. It's been about 10 days since I planted this one, and it's got a little bit of new growth, it looks like. Uh, not, a, not a whole lot, but the other one's really taken off. It's got quite a bit of height on it and some additional growth but I remember when I um, I grew a Maruga scorpion in this container last year and it took a long time before the uh, plant got adjusted and also this still has the plastic bottle that it was in originally it has plenty of holes and the roots were coming out but they may affect the growth some but um, I can't really make a judgment uh, comparing the two either until they uh, they're able to grow some more um, so probably going to put them outside pretty soon. They've been under the um, 400 watt light, so it kind of pre-hardens them off pretty well. So I'll go ahead and put them out on the porch probably sometime this week, and then I'll move something else over here. But um, I just wanted to show show how these are looking. So this is the um, the wick bucket that just has a six inch net pod and the wick hanging down in solution, and this is more of a um, traditional self forwarding container where it's full of potting mix and there's a net pot in the bottom that's packed with potting mix that's wicking up solution from the uh, reservoir. So I want to compare these two, see how they do. Anyway, um, hope you like that. Thank you for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe.